first of all welcome you uh, you you been to peshawar the people you know uh, and part of the uh, international peace and sports conference so how you feel especially uh, this part of the world and the people portrayed by the international media and all that they they are terrorist sort of activities and line out of situation are very poor and don't go there so uh, how you feel now after attending and after being part of this uh, conference here in Peshawar so first of all thank you for having me here uh, my first uh, experience was that the uh, people are here very welcoming and kind um, and yeah about you, uh, what you are say saying that uh, if i i hear a uh, news about uh, uh, pakistan it's uh, usually related to terrorism or refugees uh, so i think that for um, european people or american people uh, usually this is what they came into their mind um, when they uh, hear the, the country pakistan but i can uh, say now as I have a little experience here, that of course we cannot attach these words to a, a whole nation because uh, it, I heard today that it, it's really hard for Pakistan people to prove everybody that they are wrong, wrong that they are not terrorists and not every Pakistan people are wrong. So uh, I, I think that uh, it's a really good experience for me that I saw this and I heard these words and um, yeah, I would say to everyone that we cannot um, attach those things to a whole country. Uh, Anna, you, you are are an international uh, repu uh, photo journalist so obviously you saw uh, the uh, the north of uh, uh, Peshawar especially Khyber Pukhtunkhwa uh, it uh, was so fascinating uh, you know uh, there was uh, uh, lush green mountains and all snow peaks highest peak in Pakistan so uh, do you feel that uh, uh, someday you visit again and you will explore Pakistan with a more softer image uh, and show to the rest of the world? Yeah, so actually uh, when I, I saw a video of the tourist um agency and I, I, I it came into my mind immediately that this is a really nice country which uh, is known by only a few people it's like undiscovered and uh, as I saw you have really nice uh, natural uh, landscapes and uh, yeah I was wondering that okay next time I would like to stay longer and uh, go to a hike or just uh, visit some lakes because it's really beautiful mm -hmm. what sort of message uh, that as you uh, also part of uh, uh, a panel of discussion uh, especially the women uh, uh, from Afghanistan even from Pakistan and uh, you and from uh, Romania uh, uh, Azerbaijan they participated in a discussion that there be facil a facility for the women especially and uh, the women's are half of Pakistan population so uh, do you think that they have and they can uh, the ability uh, to bring Pakistan a prosperous nation yes they definitely have the ability to do that and I would say to the people that uh, like also the men and the women should encourage each other and encourage the women to work as journalists and uh, let their voice voice to be heard because it's very important and uh, sometimes women has to women have to work twice as hard uh, as everyone else but it's worth it and uh, I sh I would like to encourage them to do so and never give up and just keep going there are uh, some uh, upcoming young Young sports journalists, uh, 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 and they they are they remain as part of uh, the training program, and they were uh, leading and senior journalists at just how to cover international activities. So obviously, do you think that they will uh, learn from this, and uh, uh, in the coming days they will take over uh, their uh, senior most uh, journalists, and they will portray a uh, highlight. Uh, uh, the way sports is and the way people are living in yes I think that everybody everybody when meet some uh, new people or have uh, has some new experience uh, those experiences are influencing them so I'm sure that they're gonna have um, an effect of their environment when they go home or when they start to work again um, so yeah I think it was a question yes. <laughs> Uh, Anna, uh, uh, when you when you back to your home, especially just your home, not your country. Mm -hmm. So, what sort of message you give to your mom, uh, your your dad, your siblings? What sort of message about this part of the world to your home? 
I think that I would say that uh, we should, shouldn't do any preconception in advance. We should discover first and uh, let the people to prove, like the people of the country to prove uh, how d are they like and uh, after that we should judge them. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank, Thank you. you.